The world is a mysterious place. Sometimes things happen that cannot be explained. Today, I will tell you about the unexplainable story of Samara Morgan. The story started in 1970, when a woman named, Evelyn, was held captive in the basement of a sexually perverted priest. The priest often raped Evelyn, and eventually impregnated her. Months went by and at some point, Evelyn managed to escape. She fled to a Christian hospital, and gave birth to a girl, this girl would go by the name, Samara Morgan. As a baby, Samara showed no emotions, she did not cry, and she did not laugh, she was just emotionless. Evelyn noticed that Samara was no ordinary girl, she noticed the darkness in her child's eyes. Soon Evelyn came to believe that her daughter was a demon. So she tried drowning Samara. However, a group of nuns caught her in the act, and took the baby away. Samara Morgan was put up for adoption, while her mother was put in a psychiatric hospital. In time, Samara was adopted by a couple, their names were, Anna and Richard. Samara soon started developing a close bond with her adoptive parents. Samara loved them, and they loved her. As Samara grew up, she started noticing that she had strange supernatural powers. The powers she possessed was called, Nensha. It made her capable of burning gruesome images into people's minds. However, she had no control over her powers. Thus ending up in unintentionally using her powers on the people around her, including her own parents. Soon the whole village started blaming her for the island's misfortunes. The locals of the village started hating her, and bullying her, they wanted her gone. Also, Anna and Richard became more distant towards Samara. They did not know what to do. This made Samara an outsider, she did not fit in. She spent most of her time alone, on the swings outside of her house. At some point, Anna consulted the local doctor to help with Samara. However, the doctor was unable to help, so he sent Samara to a psychiatric hospital, where another doctor would look after her. At the hospital, Samara was unable to sleep and displayed her powers by burning gruesome images on videotapes. The doctor used these videotapes as evidence, for her powers. At first, Samara did not want to hurt those around her, however, something inside of her changed. She became cold and ruthless, and with her powers growing stronger and stronger, she slowly started not caring about hurting people. Her first victim was the doctor. Samara was then sent back to live with her parents. Back with her parents it did not go well. Samara was locked up in a barn by her father, in order to prevent her from harming anyone. In a fit of rage, Samara then destroyed her parents' livelihood. This event hurt her parents greatly. Her parents then decided to take some time away, so they took Samara and traveled to a secluded mountain inn, as a vacation. While Samara let her guard down, Anna finally snapped and suffocated Samara with a garbage bag. She then threw her down the well. Disgusted by her own actions, Anna then committed suicide by jumping off a cliff. Meanwhile, Samara tried to crawl out of the well, but broke her fingernails in the process. A stone slowly covered the top of the well, and Samara's fate was sealed. She died due to drowning after spending seven days in the dark well. Samara was about 10 years old at the time of her death. The local villagers were happy that Samara was gone, however, she was not gone. She died, but she never left. After dying in the well, Samara used her powers to create a videotape that curses anyone who watches it. Anyone who watches the videotape will die seven days later. The video contained gruesome images and clues to Samara's haunting past. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe.